Hey everybody, get you some here. I'd like to uh, give you a little tutorial on the Core i7 950 and uh, overclocking on the ASUS P60 Deluxe version 2 for all y'all that got ASUS boards out there. Um, I have, I had the Core i7 COZ1, Core i7 920DO, I had the 930 and now I got the 950. So the 950, basically the difference between the 920 DO and the 930 is that you have a 24 multiplier, but these chips seem to run better on odd multipliers. But this one I have tried uh, from 20 multiplier all the way up to 24 and I, mine, you know, all tips are different, they're all not going to overclock the same, but this one, I was able to hit 4.4 gigs with no problem on a 21 multiplier, but I think I found a sweet spot with mine at the, on the 20 multiplier at 4 gigs. It runs incredibly low on voltage, I mean, my, my 930, I had to run 3.1. 1.3 volts, 1.31 volts on the V core to hit 4.2 to keep it stable anyway. But okay, let me uh, crank out some bio settings for you real quick. Okay, now I don't have no tripod, but I'll try to do my best. Okay, now. Go to AI tweaker, set it to manual. I'm running 20 on the ratio, speed step disabled, 201 on the beat clock, and uh, my RAM is G Skill Trident, 2000 megahertz. I got 12 gigs, and I got it running at 1611 right now. And um, try to keep your uh, your unclock and your QPI data right there at the lowest settings they can go and my RAM I have running at 77719 two times on a DRAM clock it'll different for you whatever that you have now my CPU core voltage you can see right now I had it at 1.25 I just upped it a little bit one point eight eight on the PLL and uh, QPI DRAM core voltage one point two eight DRAM bus one sixty six and um, the CPU differential amplitude is eight hundred MV and uh, the sped the spectrums are disabled go over to uh, CPU configuration and then advanced tab and uh, I pretty much you know disable all your power saving crap and hyper threading I mean unless you've got two cards in SLI you know some BP graphics cards and you play a lot of games it's not going to give you that much of a performance upgrade I mean I encode a lot of movies, <clears throat> like 700 megabyte, you know, AVI or Blu-ray rips in the MKV, 350 megabyte MKVs, and I only noticed like a 30 second change with hyper-threading installed, and it gave me 10 degree higher Celsius in temp, so it just wasn't worth it to me. And, uh... I have um, my hard disk drives. I have uh, I have two ver three Vertex two extended 60 gigabyte drives in RAD zero. I have a Samsung F3 one terabyte for storage, and I have two F3 Samsung one terabytes in RAD zero. And I just switch between the operating systems. You know, use the Samsung RAD for a month large encoding files and stuff because you don't want to be doing a lot of large writes to uh, your SSD drive so
this chip, the nine my nine fifty at four gigahertz is that's I mean I had the voltage even lower. And I you know, I'm still messing around with the voltages on it, but that seems to be rock solid stable for now. I'm gonna try to lower them a little bit. Run Intel burn test of five pass on it. doesn't even show the log on screen. Ooh. The SSDs are fast. I'll show you some benchmark numbers in a second. You see 1.24 volts. Multiplier two and one bus speed, four cores, four threads. Main board ASUS P60 Deluxe. I need to update that BIOS. It's 12 gigs of uh, G Skill tried in 2000 megahertz RAM running at 1611 at 77719. And uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 465 super clocked <coughs> graphics card. There is um, there's the latest benchmark on uh, on the SSD. Look, almost 600 megabytes a second with three in RAD zero compared to my two that I have running in rad zero my two samsung spin point f3s is getting an average of 216 so that's how much faster the ssds are than regular hard drives you can see the 7.5 on windows But it, you know, my temps at, I got on 100% load, they went about 58 degrees on one core and they averaged around 55 on 100% load. So I have a water cooled setup. SPC, I believe. <coughs> Fetcher tubing, half inch. This one of my uh, Swift Tech pumps with acrylic top, so I can run a half inch hose. Three Vertex drives, solid state drives. And Tech um, Dark Fleet 85 case with my uh, Fetzer quad exchanger radiator.
but the system seems to, to run great. Okay, y'all, this here is get to some. If you have any questions, just fire me off a comment, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, all right, y'all have a good day.